Good morning, class. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, class. So since we've done discussing digital citizenship, now let's proceed to our next topic, which are the digital innovations, effects, and ways on how to promote digital citizenship in 21st century learners. Okay, so are you guys excited? Yes! Understanding the limitations of digital tools helps students develop critical thinking skills to discern between reliable and misleading information, fostering a more informed society. Moreover, instilling ethical principles encourages responsible digital behavior, such as respecting privacy, intellectual property rights, and avoiding cyberbullying. By promoting digital citizenship, students learn to engage in online communities responsibly, contributing positively to digital discourse and fostering a culture of respect and empathy. So, okay, class, so since we've done discussing our today's topic, so as a 21st century learner or as a student, so how can you promote digital citizenship? So, maybe you can share your experiences. Then, you can share to your class what you have learned from that experience. Okay, so what's to share? Okay, Ms. Denise. So, I would like to share a story, Mom. This happened during my first year of college. And I was, this is very personal to me because it um, took a toll on my mental health. I was a victim of cyberbullying. During my freshman year, my mental health was at the lowest. I have tons of friends back then, but I was confused why people were suddenly distant and eventually made fun of me. Later on, I found out that my boyfriend for three years have spread my intimate images and video online. I certainly wouldn't forget about that and I would say that was the worst experience in my life. I'm sorry for that, Ms. Inez. So, that was a tough experience of yours. So, from that experience, so what have you realized? What is your realization? So, my major realization of that experience, Mom, was to don't trust people easily, especially online. And even though you know that person personally or in real life, you must um, filter what you share to them because you don't know what will happen in the future, right? Maybe they will use some things you share to them against you. So that would be all. Okay, thank you, Miss Tini. So, yeah, that's good uh, realization, Miss Tini, that you are um, thinking about your safety before doing what I said. Okay, so who else wants to share their experiences? Mom. Okay, Miss Cole. So, in my junior high school, Mom, I'm using traditional way of making instructional materials. Being a student has been a challenging task for me, especially during high school where I was bombarded with reportings. Now, I am in college and taking up education for my bachelor's degree. There is not much difference. It actually worsened.
Since I needed to do more demonstrations and reportings, I learned how to integrate technology in my studies. I use EdTech tools like PowerPoint presentations and Microsoft Excel to make instructional materials. Ever since, my student life has never been easier. Okay, so thank you, Miss Nicole. So, you know, class, um, using the tech tools, especially if you are um, a future educator, so it helps our life to make it easier. Like example, uh, creating a PPT in your reporting, that um, ethic tool is very helpful. Okay, so anyone? Okay, so let me hear from the back, Mr. Rural. Do you have any experiences in life? So maybe you can share to the class. So. So, I once had an experience when I was still in high school. So, I engaged in online gambling. So, this gambling was called Scatter. Um, at first, I won an amount of 85,000. But as time passes by, I lose an amount of 145,000. Um, I was so really problematic in the past that time since I have a large amount of debt. So in order for me to pay my tuition fees, I forced myself to borrow some money to my friend. Taste lang good? Nana o dere? Laton natin ka o? Sige Brad, ang pay? Gage? So I came to realize that um, engaging in online games or online betting games is really bad, especially if you don't have a large amount of money. So if you engage in um, online games or online betting games, you should have prioritize first your um, important um, things that things in your life. So that's all. Okay, class. So thank you for sharing your um, experiences. And I hope that you learned something from our topic and also the experiences shared by your classmates. So, questions? Ah. Ah.